use and or view at your own risk. In this video we're going to look at how to print postage if you happen to run out of black ink. Now some printers will allow you to go into the advanced options menu and just select a color that you want to print it in and you want to make sure that you print it in anything other than red, yellow, or anything, any light color. So you want to stay with dark blue, dark green, dark purple, you know, things like that. So the very first thing you'll need to do is just purchase your postage as you normally would. Now that we have our postage purchased, what we'll need to do is open up the postage in a simpler window. We're going to need to capture the actual postage file or the, the, the picture of the postage. And, it doesn't allow you to right click it and save it as a, as a picture so what we're going to do is save the entire web page which will capture the picture of, of our postage so in order to do that you'll just need to go to the com command uh, button or uh, hamburger menu click it and then go down to more tools if you're in Chrome and then save page as and you can see how to do it there if you're in Firefox or IE. Now we're just simply going to save it to a place on our computer and you can see it's going to be saved as print postage HTML and it's going to capture the complete web page. So now we've saved that to a place on our computer. We're going to navigate to where we saved it and I just got a little folder for all my eBay postage. Now once we're here you can see the HTML file, HTML file itself and the corresponding files that belong to that HTML file and that's where we want to be and you can see here that here's the pictures of our postage and that's what we're going to be working with. So you can just open it up in any image man manipulation program that will allow you to select by color. Now let me warn you, you may be messing with federal postage so you cannot change any of the information on there. So with that said, we just go to select, then by color, then we'll select all the white, then we'll go back to select, we'll invert our selection, that'll capture all of the black printing, and then we'll simply go to our pencil tool. You want to use a hard edge tool, you don't want to use a, a spray paint tool or something like that. We'll increase the size of our brush so that it doesn't take us forever to paint it in. And then we'll simply change the color of, of the document and therefore the color is going to be printed in. I use purple because that uses both the red and the blue on my color ink cartridge and it allows me to print more postage and it also allows me to use up my color ink cartridge which I don't ever use. So now we've got that done, we'll go back to select, simply unselect everything, and you want to check it and make sure that you've got, you know, crystal clear manipulation going on. You don't want to change any of the information. It may be illegal, but we're just changing the color. And now you can go to print, and here's where you would look for an advanced option in your printer to see if you couldn't have printed it in another color. But I have a cheap printer, it doesn't have that option available or you can save the file to print it directly from your printer. You may need to remove the transparency layer or the alpha channel of the picture for maximum compatibility with printers. Now you can just go to File and under GIMP and Export, maybe save under your, your program and we're going to, that will allow us to export it in any format that we need to. So PNG, TIFF, etc. Now we'll export it and you want to make sure that your compression level is zero. We want the, the crispest picture that we can you know that we can capture. Now we'll go to where 
we had our files before and you'll see that we have our uh, color changed postage and this will give you a real world uh, idea of the quality that you're looking for so that it gets accepted we just want to make sure that we're not doing anything in red yellow or any light colors that the laser won't recognize and thank you for watching